Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in Kenley, just south of Purley, a place I've driven past on the A roads so many times over the years, but I've never ever been here. And I'm at Kenley Aerodrome, the former RAF Kenley, one of the best preserved World War II uh, airports uh, in southern England. And I'm quite excited to be here. Let's have a little walk around. This airfield was in use from 1917 right up to the late 1950s. And it's still used by the Ministry of Defence today with uh, a, I think it's air, uh, air gliders, gliders, um, planes. So here we are at the RAF Memorial and the Tribute. This was a place we used in the First World War for the Royal Flying Corps and then became the RAF in the Second World War. This airfield along with Biggin Hill and Croydon were playing significant roles in protecting London from the Luftwaffe during the Second World War uh, and in the Battle of Britain. This played a major role in the Battle of Britain this place. A very famous quote from Churchill, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Winston Churchill Spencer in 1940. The tribute is actually in a blast pen, which were designed, you can't get into them now, um, which were designed as protection for aircraft on the ground from enemy fire and enemy bombs. It's all overgrown now. The ingenuity that happened here. I mentioned Biggin Hill, of course uh, we've done loads of uh, videos from Biggin Hill. Um, which is still a very active airport. Someone's put in chalk an outline of a plane where it would have stood. Another one over here, another shame they're all shut. It'd be great to get inside and have a look. I don't think there's much in there. Yeah. So very dark. Oh. Oh. It's a great big walking trail now, a conservation area. So lots of people out walking uh, on their bikes. It's a really, really quite peaceful place, really. I said I've never been here before, and it's only just down the road. There was a significant attack on the 18th of August 1940 uh, on here, on this airfield. Many people lost their lives. There's um, an airman's garden of remembrance over at St Lawrence's Church nearby. And that was the very first church to be damaged in the Second World War, St Lawrence's Church over in Kenley. So yeah, saw, saw some action this place. As you can see, Ministry of Defence, this is a prohibited place within the uh, meaning of the Official Secrets Act. Unauthorised persons entering the area may be arrested or prosecuted. taking you down to the officer's mess, which is an abandoned building built in the uh, First World War. Now gutted, unfortunately. I don't use drones, so um, 
give you an idea of the layout of the airfield is a, a Google image. You see two major runways which were used. I say still used for gliders. If you want to walk around the airfield, I think it says it's about two miles. It doesn't seem two miles, but uh, yeah, two miles. Bugger, I thought you could walk around the perimeter, but it's over there, the officer's mess. Um, and I can't get in. I mean, there's fencing around it anyway. I know a lot of um, urban explorers have been in there. You check it out on YouTube. I'm not an urban explorer. Uh, I'm fascinated by it. It's a way of documenting these old buildings, but yeah, it's just there. Uh, can't get in. But here's a photo of it anyway. So the um, survived two world wars and then suspected arson, I think in 2016. Uh, damaged it beyond repair with the roof missing over in the Disney. So just see the top of the roof there. That's a shame really, because one of the major reasons I came here was the abandoned building. We don't really have that many abandoned buildings in the southeast. Um, and if they are, like this one, it's got all fencing around, it's been sold to developers. I think they're, gonna, they're actually going to demolish it, because it's now beyond repair. The old officer's mess, as I say, survived two world wars, and then a bunch of morons come along and set fire to it. Well, it's a lovely day, so I might as well walk the perimeter. Let's see what else is here. Another abandoned building there. Another blast pen. You still, still go and get in the though. Hmm. I didn't know that. I say there are loads of these blast pens scattered about the airfield. As I said, to protect the aircraft that are on the ground enemy bombing and another one here some iron work to say you can't get in The glider club, it'd be great to see one take off, but uh, I think they're just chatting at the moment. This is Causden Common, which I've never been to before either. Lovely, lovely views. That's interesting all this. The Kenley Common Conservation volunteers planted uh, this new wildlife hedge in February 2023 and have been maintaining it since, including weeding and watering uh, during these dry spells. So from the Jacob's sheep. Huh. Caught a glider, just landing, fantastic. Do 
just over the back there is the Norman Fisher Observatory and they invite the general public in something times on Saturdays to <clears throat> look up at the stars I might look at one of their open days that'll be fascinating because I love space so there you go a nice walk around Kentley Aerodrome formerly RAF Kentley and now we've got lunch booked in the Waterton Arms just around the corner because I'm a bit hungry let's go That was a lovely lunch in the Waterton Arms. Thank you, Tracy and her team. Really delicious pie. Had it was a chicken bacon pie. Really nice. Lots of really nice green veg. Oh, absolutely delicious. So thank you. And I really enjoyed that little walk around Kenley Airfield. I say, the, I've wanted to come here for years, and why have I never done it? Well, I've done it now, and I've done it as a video. So be like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.